Hello, today I thought I'd produce a video on the macoplasty robotic partial knee replacement procedure with a real robot with a slight twist. I've had some great feedback about our previous videos where we show the macoplasty uh, procedure in an actual patient, uh, but there's a distinct viewership out there that's squeamish. And so I thought I'd produce a video that would show the exact same procedure, but using practice bones or what we call saw bone. So the preamble before a macoplasty is the same. We'll have to go through the planning as seen in A and B panels. And then during the procedure, we would map the yellow areas, which are the cartilage areas onto the joint uh, as seen in C, and then uh, this gives us precise uh, mapping as seen in D. Obviously, without soft tissue or cartilage in the practice bones, we aren't able to do that step, but I'm sort of putting that here for completion, and you'll be able to see the actual procedure on the other video uh, on this website. This is the macoplasty setup. In the bottom left hand corner, you see the Rio robot arm, and the Rio robot arm is uh, the, the business end of the machine. Um, these little bits here are the light uh, reflectors. I'll show you how that works in a while. And this is the monitor, which I like to think of as the brain. And over here is the robot's uh, sensors, which are the eyes. And as I mentioned earlier, this is what happens. Boom, the light uh, actually comes in from the surrounding, reflects off here and goes into the sensor. And so the robot is able to know where the limb is. Now for description, uh, we have set it up in this way. We have set up the uh, saw bones in this way. These pins that you see here are used to hold the reflectors uh, that will be used by the computer and the robot to see where the limb is in space. Uh, this is the pelvis and the femur and thigh bone in the practice bones or saw bones. And this would be how a person would be if he was lying down in the position seen. So the video is here. Immediately you see the tibial condyle preparation. And what should be apparent is there is no cutting. It's actually more of a burring. And we're following that up with the femoral condyle preparation. And once again, there are no big cuts here. It's really just shaving off the bits. And then uh, we put in little position place holes that will hold the little stubs on the implant. And that is always monitored um, by the computer. And then we place the implants in the area. This, is, of course, is all done on the saw bone, so it's all done very quickly. But essentially, before every actual case, these are the steps that we use. Um, before actually doing one on a patient. So there we have it, a uh, little over a minute of a macoplasty knee replacement using saw bones. But essentially these are the steps that we take when we do um, one of these procedures on a patient. So in a minute, I'll, that's me putting in the plastic spacer my assistant giving me a hand and done. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do go to worldwidewebblimbsalvagesurgery.com for more information, or you can look us up on Facebook or on YouTube. Thank you very much.